Hey you guys, welcome back to another edition of Fat Camp Artwork. I am Sean Reisner, aka Fat Boy, and I am so glad to have you back here with me today on this gloomy, rainy, lovely day. I like this kind of weather. So. I thought today we would work on that barn picture focusing on the background elements, the rolling hill, the trees. I don't know why I'm doing this. <laughs> anyway, if you guys are ready, let's do this. But if you guys are ready, let's do this. <laughs> So to start with some of this background stuff right here, I thought we'd use two fan brushes, a smaller one and a larger one, nothing fancy. And this time I'm using a paper plate for a palette. You don't got to have a lot of money to do this stuff, I'm telling you. <laughs> so for this particular part, I thought we would mix together uh, some yellow ochre, maybe a little green, and then kind of add a little distance with a little blue and white. So to mix this, let's just grab a little bit of the green. Okay, and kind of blend that into the yellow ochre. Let's add a little bit of blue to it and see what it does. Okay, that's not a bad color. I kind of like that. Now we start throwing some white to it. It'll kind of uh, it'll kind of brighten it. But kind of dull it down if that makes some sense too. And do you guys see how I'm loading this? I'm just taking it, just dragging it right through there and kind of just kind of tapping into it and pulling it. Good amount of paint on the brush. Alright, so here's our horizon line. And I'm just touching the canvas with the tip of the brush and just kind of pull it out. Nothing has to be exact. And then don't forget, we got some on the other side, so we'll come back to that in a minute when I uh, fix the camera. <laughs> All right, you guys, I think I'm gonna hit some white now. Just load the brush with some white. And just kind of blend that down. kind of focus on these little uh, background trees. So I didn't do anything too crazy. I just added a little bit of black and a little bit of brown right back into that color. I want this color to be a little darker than the hills were. Uh, you know, keep in mind contrast, you know, lights against dark. So try to play those two back and forth if you can. So 
so here we go. I just, it's, this brush is a hot mess, as Emma would say, once again, hot mess. Okay, here we go. So with this one, guys, I'm just going to take, and I hope you guys can see this. I'm gonna just take and just kind of, you know, I'm just gonna push on the color. See how dark that is? I just want to kind of fill in this shape. There's a lot of ways, I mean, for if you wanted to hurry things along, you know, get that shape in there, you know, just real loose, like. And as you get towards the top, you know, you just kind of uh, tap some shapes into it. Now I got a special brush I want to show you guys for this here. Just a minute. Now I think in my mind I want to take that same dirty brush back into straight black and I want to just kind of touch in some of that dark color towards the bottom. Keep in mind overlapping, I can go beyond this next layer here. It's not gonna hurt anything. It'll just kind of help things, you know, look a little, uh, a little cooler, if you will. But notice I'm just tapping, just tapping with the brush. That's all I'm doing. See how that's kind of blending together now? And all you're doing is taking a brush and tapping. That's all you're doing. everyone that is the start of our basic background base coat um, we will come back in when it's a little drier and we'll add some more textures uh, maybe some highlights and shadows you know more in depth and then from there we can start building more towards the foreground uh, I will let the background sky layer dry a little more I do want to come in and add uh, more color variants in there, maybe some darker blues on the edges and a little bit brighter uh, whites towards the center working outward and I'll show you how I do that. That's kind of my little secret, if you will. All right, you guys, I didn't think that was too bad at all. I had a pretty good time. Um, I hope you guys were able to see everything and kind of understand what I'm doing. Uh, like I said, I'm just winging things, but we have ourselves a good solid base foundation to come back on and we can kind of play with highlights and shadows and kind of define things as we go. Right now we're just kind of focusing on blocking color and then from there we will take those base colors and we'll kind of build shapes and depth and all that fun jazz later. <laughs> also if there is any questions that any of you may have on what I'm doing or any techniques or some, you know, anything really. If there is anything I can do um, to help, um, please ask your questions down below and I will do my best to answer them. And you know what they say, don't you? Fat camp artwork all in your face. Let's get it. We'll see you guys next time.